Hey guys, today I'm playing my makeup rehab update for June. I will have my playlist link for you and this is where I show you my monthly in and out. So all of my empties, purchases, and PR. And because we are halfway through the year, at the end I am gonna do a check-in on some of my rules and restrictions that I set at the beginning of the year. But let's just jump on into it. It's gonna be a long video. So I started out the month with eight points in my beauty bank and I finished eight more products over the past month. So now I'm up to 16 points. So this is not counting, it's just a little extra. I used up the Peace Out Instant Pore Perfector. I thought this was just okay. I have other smoothing blurry primers that I prefer and I feel like this also had maybe like a blueberry type of scent or something, but I did not enjoy it. I mean, it wasn't a terrible product. I didn't enjoy the scent, but definitely not something I would buy. I finally used up my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer in 1N Light Neutral. This is incredible. It's my favorite concealer for blemishes. I've also used this in a different shade under my eyes and it's fantastic as well. It just is great full coverage, satin finish, stays in place really well. I've tried the NARS Pot Concealer for blemishes and I think it's good, but I just love this more. So I already have a backup of that. Usually that goes on sale 40% off around the holidays at Ulta. So I always get another. And then I used up a little mini Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. My favorite setting spray. I love getting little minis and this one was older in my collection. So I wanted to go ahead and finish it. I used up two brow pencils first another of the benefit precisely my brow this is in the shade number one i think i only have the one pencil left that i'm working on i got through these a little bit faster than i thought hopefully i have another one that i'm just missing in the drawer because i i went through these pretty quickly but i do have like other brands of brow pencil but this is my favorite for mapping out my brow and drawing on the front. This was a shade number one, but I can wear one or two, but I tend to, well, because with Ultra 20 Days of Beauty, you can only get two of a shade in a transaction. I just get one and two, but I would prefer one because my brows, I draw them on so intense. I would like it to be a lighter shade. And then I had the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in 2.5 that Benefit had sent me. And this worked out well for me undertone wise, but again, it's just a little bit darker. I love the shape of this brow pencil. I use this for filling in the center and I don't have another one of these right now. I'm using a Lawless Brow Pencil in that way. And this is one that I would definitely buy again because using this combination makes this pencil last longer. So next time this is included in a 21 Days of Beauty, I will get another. I used up my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick and Kiss from A Rose. I did scoop out all of the product, put it in a sample jar and I finished that up. This is my favorite eyeshadow stick formula. This was just a little bit more of like an icy pink, which isn't my favorite type of shade, but it worked perfectly as a base under all of my powder shadows. And I just use these as bases, which is why I really don't need to be repurchasing them when I have so many shades, but I love this formula. I find it to be very creamy, stays in place, doesn't crease, helps my shadow adhere to my lids. I can't do my makeup without it. And I'm rotating out some mascaras now. So I use minis for two months and full sizes for four months. So first I use this Too Faced Better Than Sex Foreplay Mascara Primer. I really liked this. It has a plastic brush and it is a black shade. I do think this is really nice. It's something that I would get if it was half off. Then my full size mascaras. First is one I did not like. This is the Lancome Lay 8 Hypnose. It's a serum mascara. I just didn't like the formula. I don't think it did much for my lashes. The packaging is very fancy. This feels like a perfume bottle. And I've tried lots of Lancome mascaras, but the original Hypnos Drama is just my absolute favorite. And I would buy that one, but not this. One that I would buy again, I really love. and has some more life to it in here, but I've been using it for four months. This is the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I think this is amazing. I love what it does for my lashes. It gives length. And because this is a wet form, I feel like it does give a little bit of thickness. I do, however, think this is super similar to the e.l.f. Lash Extender Mascara. So I would buy this one half off, but I probably should just get the e.l.f. one. I forgot to empty my purse. As I was looking at those, I was like, oh, I didn't finish a lip gloss. Yes, I did. I finished this just yesterday. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Reef. This is a really pretty shade. And I do think that this is a nice formula it reminds me of the fenty gloss balm creams 
but I don't think I would buy this just because I have so many other glosses, but it is a really nice, like creamy, smooth formula, not sticky. I do really enjoy these. If I didn't have so many glosses, I would probably consider buying it, and I did really like that shade. So again, now I have 17 points, and I purchased seven makeup products, which brings me down to nine points. So first, ColourPop was having free shipping, so I decided to pick up two things. First is one of their creme gel liners that I was hoping would be similar to my favorite rosette, and it is not. This is the color Get Lucid. Now, I did look these swatches up on Temptalia first, and I could tell that they were different, but I was hoping it'd be a little bit more similar, but this one definitely has more red in it compared to rosette which was like a true rose gold so i think that this might do the job but yeah i'm bummed by the shade it's, it's very very different so hopefully i love this one because of course i did pay full price for that which was eight dollars and then i did get another of these so juicy plumping lip liners because all of the shades were not at ulta and this is eight dollars as well and this is the lightest color, love that. And I'm a little nervous how that's gonna look on my skin tone. It's just a light beige, but it is a little bit lighter and less pinky than I thought it was going to be. So let's hope that I like the way these products look on me. I mean, I know that they're still affordable, but let's just hope. Then I got a $10 off Ulta coupon and I decided to get one of the new Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm oils and I had a really hard time picking the shade. I was going between either the second shade or the third shade and I wasn't able to go in store before this to swatch them or the blushes because I am wanting to get the blushes. So I ended up choosing the middle shade Frosted Buns and I'm really excited to try this formula and it was reminding me of a discontinued Milani lip gloss that I used up last year and really loved. Although this one is like a little bit lighter. So really excited to try this formula. So $10 off made it 16 bucks. Next, I placed an Ulta order with my sister. Her favorite powder is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. And for some reason that has been 50% off. And then I believe Milani was 30% off or 25% off. We'll have to do the math. And then I used a 350 off coupon to save even more. So I picked up some things that I've really been wanting. This is the Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in Nude Kiss. So many people have just absolutely loved that. And then I also have been wanting to try this Milani Keep It Full Max Balm Shell Plumping Lip Balm. So this is supposed to be a serum type of product and I've been wondering how this compares to the original Plump Shot formula from Buxom. So these were each $7.69, then taking $1.50 off each of them would make them $5.94 each, which is a really good deal. Then this was a bit of an impulse buy, but I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette from Sephora because it was 75% off, which I thought was a great deal. And this is a palette I have been interested in in the past, but I have been trying to mostly just buy indie palettes because I think that their formulas are better, but this palette was $12.25. So if I decide that I don't love this, I will be so happy to gift this to a friend. The colors in here look so pretty. I especially love what's happening over here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep this, but it's such a good price. I feel like I should, but I have a lot of palettes. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Should I just return this brand new? Should I keep it and save it for a gift? I don't know, but that is such a good deal. I'm not sure if it's still available, but definitely run it over to Sephora site and see. Then Ulta had a couple different products on sale. So first, these limited edition Nabla eyeliners were on sale. So the mauve is sold out. I already have that one, thank goodness. But this is Melon, and it's a really bright shade, but I was just curious about it, and I love this formula. So I haven't swatched it yet. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Part of me now is like, I don't need this. I should return it. I got carried away because I do love this formula, but I don't know how much I would wear this shade. And especially when I have a metallic peach like I'm wearing right now, but I want to make up my mind before I swatch it. So let me know you think it was 1260, but I need to think of these products, not just by price, but like, are they going to get enough use? I got a little carried away with purchases. I didn't buy that many things, but there were a couple of those impulses. These were impulses as well. Again, let me know your thoughts. 
but some peach and lily products were 50% off as an app exclusive. So I got the KP Bump Boss Smoothing Body Lotion and KP Bump Boss Microderm Body Scrub. I do have KP on my arms and on my legs and I do like testing out different products for that. So the scrub was $14.50 and the lotion was $16. So, ah. I don't know let me know let me know your all's thoughts on that so that's everything that i purchased but let me show you my mother's day gift so justin got me a gift and then my mom had sent me some money so with justin's money i placed a pretty big guest style order that just shipped so i'm excited to show you that next month but what i got with the money from my mom would be the adept cosmetics flying fiddles palette i think the packaging is absolutely hideous and has nothing to do with the inside color story, but this is such a great, gorgeous wearable neutrals palette. I love that there are 15 shades in here and I just cannot wait to play with this. These definitely seem like my type of shades and we have four mattes in here. So really excited to play with this. I would love to hear your color combo suggestions. So now getting in to the PR products. First, I'm gonna start with everything that I got from Skeepers. I talked about it last month, but I have now been approved as an influencer. So I'm able to request five products at a time. And I am part of an Instagram group that posts drops and these gals have helped me so much snag these products before they've sold out so some of these are products where i have done instagram reels talking about them and other ones i just had to leave a review on either the brand website or sephora or ulta i am going to be posting videos on tiktok and instagram of just like my month recap of the products after i've tested them a little bit longer so you will get my thoughts all together and i haven't posted yet but i did already film the one for all the products that i got last month but anyway let me just run through these the inky list hydro colloid hydro colloid i don't know how to say that invisible pimple patches the k18 damage repair essentials has three products in there which was so exciting the in beauty project bright and tight eye cream my favorite brand belief this is a new product the super drops niacinamide golden glow serum then from the ordinary the balancing and clarifying serum which is new and i really love it and the multi-peptide eye serum that was just fine then a very expensive eye serum the dr barbara sturm super anti-aging i've really been liking that the Bumble and Bumble BB Pret a Powder Powder Dry Shampoo. The only thing I really didn't like is the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm just because the scent is too strong. It's too strong for my eyes, but I'll be able to use it up on my face. And then the most recent product I just got is so exciting. And this is a product that I don't even think is available for purchase yet, or maybe it is just now available. This is the CL SPF 50 Bronzing Concentrate. They have two colors. I, of course, got the lightest shade number one, and then they also sent this really cute double-ended brush, which looks like this. So, oh my gosh, how amazing is that? All of those products that I got for free to review. So I'm hoping I have even more exciting things. And again, you will hear my thoughts in a couple weeks once I've tested these things out more on TikTok and Instagram. So then to get into the other PR, I have a package from Shop Miss A. I was able to pick out products to create a full face for under $20. I will have the Instagram video linked down below so you guys can see all the products and see them in action, but I was able to get 12 things for $19 and change, which is very exciting. And there were some things I loved, some things that I didn't care for as much, so definitely check that out. Then Heritage by Mindy messaged me about sending me some products, which was very exciting. And I was expecting to get some hair products, which I did. I got the heat protectant mist, which is very exciting. But they sent me this a little pad to put your heat tool on. And they sent the Wand It Need It One Inch Curly Wand. How fancy is that? I have a curly wand from college that is 
super cheap, super old. I don't curl my hair very often, but I'm definitely gonna need to now. I'm so excited to have this. I feel very fancy and I cannot wait to try this out. And I will definitely share my thoughts and I might do it with you on camera just for some laughs because I never do my hair, but I'm really, really excited for these products. So thank you so much, Heritage by Mindy. So as you guys know, I have been lucky enough to get Buxom PR and I had messaged them to ask if I could get the new tinted balms to review. And they said like, oh, Heather, they're already on the way to you let us know if you need any other restocks so i could not turn down that opportunity so i requested just two things i wasn't trying to be greedy so first is one of their new products this is the powerful plump and repair lip butter and bear so i've tried their big o balm and that was a ph changing so i'm glad that they just did like a regular clear so i'm excited to try this out i will post a little instagram video because i want to thank them for sending me these products and then i also asked for the final shade of the multi-chrome plump shot because this was out of stock at the time they had sent me the other ones so this is the shade enchanted berry which looks so pretty let me do a little swatch here so pretty so i'm going to do a video with the lip butter and this and i'm just so thankful the buxom team is so nice and really really responsive and i still can't believe i'm getting pr from them i'm so freaking blessed i got a package from murad with some acne products so they sent the clarifying cleanser the rapid relief acne sulfur mask and the oil and pore control mattifier with spf 45 and i had not gotten a derma e package in a really long time but then this one just showed up which is really exciting it has some of their vitamin c products the gentle daily cleansing paste a mini of the glow face oil the intense night cream which I don't remember, and the Renewing Moisturizer, so that will be super exciting. And then lastly, I've got some products from an Asian beauty brand called Jumiso, and they sent their Snail Mucin 95 Peptide Facial Essence, the Antioxidant Glow Facial Essence, the Pore Clearing Cleansing Oil, and the pore purifying salicylic acid foaming cleanser so definitely will try all those out to give my thoughts and now i want to check back on the rules i set at the beginning of the year so there were a couple categories where i wanted them to be one in one out and that would be foundation concealer and lip gloss so far i used up two foundations and purchased one i used up one concealer and purchased zero and i used up 10 lip glosses and purchased eight Ugh, that's more than i would have liked to have purchased and then i had a couple categories where i wanted to allow myself to buy two for the year regardless of how many i used up that would be primer powder setting spray brows and mascara and i purchased one face primer no powders no setting sprays no brows no mascaras mascaras there is sort of exception i purchased a burgundy mascara and then off our joint card with a target order i picked up a brown mascara i wasn't counting that one towards anything and i really don't want to count the maybelline one either because these are colored mascaras they're not just regular black i more am thinking of just regular black so let me know if you think that's cheating but i haven't purchased any others so i of course i bought a lot of things this year but nothing in those categories so i feel pretty good about where i'm at there lip gloss i don't like that we're almost even but i do feel good about the lippies that i purchased and coming up soon i am going to have a video showing you all the things that i purchased in the first six months i'm really scared to put that together but accountability wise i need to but those are all of the things that i have used up and brought in this past month i would love to hear your thoughts on these products and especially the things i wasn't so sure about testing and keeping please let me know there and i want to thank you all so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye guys